What is IELTS? IELTS stands for the International English Language Testing System. It is a standardized test designed to assess the English language proficiency of non-native English speakers. The test measures the ability to listen, read, write, and speak in English. How can I register for the IELTS exam? To register for the IELTS exam, you can visit the official websites of the British Council or IDP Education, which are the two main organizations that administer the IELTS. You can find the registration process, available test dates, and payment details on their websites. What is the format of the IELTS exam? The IELTS exam consists of four sections, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The listening and speaking sections are the same for both IELTS academic and IELTS general training tests. The reading and writing sections differ based on the test type. How long is the IELTS exam? The total test duration for the IELTS exam is approximately 2 hours and 45 minutes. The listening, reading, and writing sections are conducted back-to-back -back without any breaks. The speaking section is usually scheduled on a different day and may take around 11 to 14 minutes. What is the difference between the IELTS academic and IELTS general training tests? The IELTS academic test is typically for individuals who plan to study at the undergraduate or postgraduate level in an English-speaking country. The IELTS general training test is for those who seek to migrate to an English-speaking country or wish to undergo work-related training or experience. How is the IELTS exam scored? The IELTS exam is scored on a nine-band scale. Each section, listening, reading, writing, and speaking, is assigned a band score ranging from 0 to 9, and then an overall band score is calculated as an average of the individual scores. What is a good score in IELTS? The definition of a good IELTS score depends on the requirements of the institutions or organizations you are applying to. Generally, a band score of 6 or above is considered a good score, but specific requirements may vary. It's important to check the score requirements of your target institution or organization. How can I prepare for the IELTS exam? To prepare for the IELTS exam, you can follow these steps. Familiarize yourself with the test format and requirements. Practice with sample test materials and past papers. Enhance your English language skills through reading, listening, writing, and speaking activities. Consider enrolling in an IELTS preparation course or using online resources. Practice time management and develop test-taking strategies. Take mock tests to assess your progress and identify areas for improvement. What are the best resources for IELTS preparation? Some recommended resources for IELTS preparation include official IELTS practice materials and books published by Cambridge University Press, online platforms such as IELTS.org, British Council, and IDP Education, which provide free practice materials and sample tests. IELTS preparation books and study guides from reputable publishers. Mobile apps that offer IELTS practice exercises and tips. Language exchange programs or conversation partners to practice speaking. Can I use a pen during the IELTS exam? No, you cannot use a pen during the IELTS exam. The writing section of the IELTS test must be done in pencil, while the other sections, listening, reading, and speaking, are completed using a pen or pencil. How many times can I take the IELTS test? There is no limit to the number of times you can take the IELTS test. You can take the test as many times as you wish. However, it is important to note that you need to wait for a minimum of 90 days between consecutive test dates. Can I retake only specific sections of the IELTS exam? No, you cannot retake specific sections of the IELTS exam. If you wish to improve your scores, you must retake the entire test. The scores from your most recent test attempt will be considered for evaluation. How long are IELTS scores valid? IELTS scores are generally valid for two years from the date of the test. After the expiration of two years, the scores are considered outdated and may not be accepted by institutions or organizations. It's essential to check the score validity requirements of the institution you are applying to. How can I send my IELTS scores to universities or institutions? You can request the official test report form, TRF, from the organization where you took the IELTS test.
The TRF will be sent to you and up to five recognized institutions of your choice for free. Additional TRF copies can be requested for a fee. The TRF will be sent directly to the institutions or organizations you specify during the registration process. What is the difference between IELTS and TOEFL? IELTS, International English Language Testing System, and TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, are both standardized tests used to measure English language proficiency. However, there are some differences. IELTS assesses British English and is widely accepted in the UK, Australia, Canada, and some European countries, while TOEFL assesses American English and is widely accepted in the United States and Canada. IELTS has both academic and general training modules, while TOEFL is primarily an academic English test. The IELTS speaking section is a face-to-face -face interview with an examiner, whereas the TOEFL speaking section is recorded and evaluated by multiple raters. The test formats and scoring systems also differ between IELTS and TOEFL. It's important to consider the requirements of the institution or organization you are applying to when choosing between IELTS and TOEFL. If you found this video enlightening and engaging, we kindly ask you to hit that subscribe button and share it with others who may find it valuable. Your support and feedback are invaluable to us. Until next time, may your dreams take flight on the wings of English proficiency. Stay inspired, stay dedicated, and keep reaching for greatness.